Welcome to Vegan Zone here on Wasaga Beach TV. Today we're making a beautiful squash soup with lots of root vegetables and herbs and spices and it is really yummy. Of course, as always, it's a vegan recipe so I'll be using coconut milk. And right now what I'm doing is peeling the squash which I roasted first with a little salt and a little olive oil and uh, roasted that uh, in the oven so it won't need much time on the stove. So squash is really high in vitamins. This is a low carb um, recipe with uh, lots of vegetables. So what we're using today besides the squash is roasted yams and carrots and parsnips. That's all going in the soup. It's going to be a smooth soup and then Part of this lovely recipe, I really love to do this, is the presentation. So there's going to be, it's colorful, it's smooth, there's some crunch to it. For example, when I roasted the squash, I also saved the seeds and roasted them with a little turmeric and cumin and olive oil and salt. So they're roasted and they'll be part of the toppings. So they add a little fiber, they add a little taste and crunch. So after I finish peeling this squash, we're going to go over to the blender and blend it along with the spices we're putting in. Don't you love this? This is just food. Wonderful. Slow cooking gets your hands right in the food and that's part of, uh, part of the beauty of cooking. I really like that. And you get used to it. If you're not used to it, then I mean, you get used to it. Hands wash easily and obviously can wash them, wash them a lot in the kitchen, but it's fun to get your hands in there. So what I did with the um, with the squash, got my hands in here. When I braised the cabbage and the beets, which are here, when I braised those, those are going to go with the soup as well. I used my hands to crunch the salt into the uh, cabbage before braising it with a little bit of maple syrup, a little nutmeg, and a little balsamic vinegar and salt in olive oil. Now what's going into the soup? Let's get back to the ingredients for the soup. We've got lovely spices for the soup. The yams, carrots, and parsnips were roasted with uh, rosemary and cinnamon. What else? Turmeric and cumin. So those got braised with, uh, with the oil in the oven and the squash was just basic. So when we put this all together we'll have spicy flavors, we'll have herbs that will go on top including uh, pea sprouts and shoots, some cilantro, a little red pepper for more crunch and on the side as well will also be some steamed spinach. So I'm finished with uh, peeling this, taking it over to the blender. Let's get started. So first we'll add the squash, nice and peeled, and we're peeling it because this is a very creamy soup. The crunch and the textures of the raw and roasted toppings will be will be on, uh, on, on the soup at the end. But you can use the skin if you want to. It's perfectly edible and adds a little more fiber. Especially if the vegetables are organic, it's perfectly fine. So in this case, there is uh, the squash. So that's gone, gone in. Next will be the roasted yams and parsnips and carrots. So put in the root vegetables and those were roasted with oregano and rosemary, uh, cinnamon and turmeric in, um, and a little cumin. So they go in and this is filling up quite a bit because well I like to fill up the containers and make a lot of soup because it goes really quickly and then you can invite a friend and not eat alone and have enough left over to share and all of that. We'll put in the cilantro, a little fresh cilantro, a little fresh parsley and then the spices. So first a little bit of cinnamon, turmeric, and a bit of cumin. So again, these are to taste. So you can add more or less as you like. Finally, a little salt. 
and top it off with the unsweetened coconut milk and blend it up. Mush it up and we'll go over to the stove. We're back. We're at the stove where the mixture that we blended with the squash and the root vegetables and spices and some herbs are going to go in the pot with a little more milk, coconut milk of course, and warm it up slightly and then we'll serve it up with all the toppings. So first pouring it in. I made a huge batch this time because as I said I am going to a um, there will be company later, so this is for extras. Can almost be served just like this as a side dish. I mean, it's perfect. It looks like almost like a mashed potato or a mashed yam. But there's no potato in here, of course. And I say of course because I've gone through all the vegetables that are in here and um, I don't eat potatoes anyway, um, so I always use sweet potatoes in place of white potatoes or much better for you. So we'll add a little more coconut milk, stir that up, and once it's the consistency that you want it, you can have it a little thicker. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so it'll still be a little drippy but not much. I'm stirring slowly because I'm wearing white. So once I've stirred all this in, this will um, this will warm up slightly and then we'll make one of the toppings, one of the side dishes that are going with it. And it's a braised spinach that we'll use with some of the lemon, a little sea salt, and pure extra virgin olive oil. So once that's mixed in with the spinach, that will go on top. I can't wait to put this together. I really love the colors that um, that come out in these dishes. Even though it is fairly simple soup, don't mind that I've made a huge quantity here. And you don't even have to roast the vegetables beforehand. You can you can boil them. You can just chop them up and boil them and steam them and add the spices to flavor, to taste. So that's a lot easier. I just put in the extra steps because I really love roasted vegetables, root vegetables. Good. And while that's warming up, let's get over to the um, over to the spinach. So here we have fresh spinach that's been steamed very lightly, and all I'm going to add is a little lemon juice, freshly squeezed, some sea salt, and a little olive oil. This olive oil is from Crete. One of my favorites. Good. So we'll let the soup simmer for a few minutes. Just warm it up enough and then take it over to the table along with the toppings and give it a try. See you there. So we've poured the soup into the bowls. It's nice and hot and smooth and ready to eat. We're going to start with the toppings. First, the braised beet and carrot, which is pureed with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, and nutmeg. We'll put that on the side. So you don't have to dress everything up like this. I just really, really like to do this because of the, um, because of the presentation, especially if it's a special occasion, you want to put a little extra effort in. So here's the spinach, put a little bit of that on top. So today we have a treat. Today I'm assembling two bowls because, oops, well there it goes. So that's in there and then we let gravity do a little bit of the work. Just get all those yummy things on top there. So these are the ingredients. What's really nice is when the ingredients that you've put in the soup, 
you get to dress them up on top as well so it brings out the flavors you get to taste them separately and together so that makes everything very complimentary the one thing that's going to add a little bit of lemon on the spinach and remember when I said that we we um, saved the, ses the seeds from the squash a little bit of nice raw red pepper for color for vitamin C for crunch for some juiciness and we have these are the roasted seeds from the squash we use to make the soup so let's pop those on top And finally, a little bit of pea sprouts, again for color. Let's get the freshness in there. And finally, if we want, we can put a little parsley. I have a little cilantro here. If you like cilantro, you can do that. We'll just put that on there too, why not? So see, you can dress it up with anything. Let's grab another one there. We'll give uh, our guest, we have a guest today, so our guest will have a little bit of parsley instead. Let's pop that on there. And what else have we got? Let's put a little bit of hemp seed for, for protein. And I think what I'd really like is a little bit of juice on top from the spinach because it's olive oil and lemon juice even just that little bit sitting on top. There we go. Now that's all ready. Let's find our guest. So here we are, let's give this a taste. We've got all the crunchy bits on top. We'll grab a little bit of the pureed beet and cabbage, a little sprout, some seeds. Let's give that a taste. That is so good. So you can put in even another little side dish. So I've got another little treat here. Little bonus recipe for you. These are kale chips. You can dehydrate them or put them in the oven. As simple as salt and olive oil. I like to put some nuts and onion and ground all that up along with some nutritional yeast, salt and olive oil and dehydrate them. So this is a nice little treat to go along with the soup. Perfect meal for company. So let's bring in our guest and see what he thinks of the soup. Go. Give that a try. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us here today at Vegan Zone. I'm Zan. Until next time, be well.